Hello and welcome back to Ancient Greece. As you can see, today I am not a Greek woman, I am an ancient Greek man in my casual going out gear. And I start our tour in Olympia. So Olympia was a very important region in Ancient Greece as this is where they worshipped a lot of their gods. And we begin the tour in Phidias' workshop. Now Phidias was the Greek artist who created the Parthenon. So the Parthenon is the famous building in Athens that is still standing, the landmark is still there. And Olympia was also home to where the Olympic Games began. So the olive tree of Zeus, where a lot of the Olympic wreaths were made, was standing here in front of Zeus's temple. So we're going to listen to a little bit about the olive tree of Zeus. On the fifth and final day of the Olympic Games, victors attended a ceremony where they were crowned with olive wreaths and showered in flowers. The crowns came from the sacred olive tree of Zeus, which was planted near the god's temple. A young boy trimmed the branches with a golden sickle before giving them to the Hellenodikai to turn into wreaths. After the crowning ceremony, it was time for great feasting and celebration. Okay, so named after Zeus with his temple located very nearby. So Zeus was king of the gods and worshipped tremendously by the ancient Greeks. So you can see a lot of people celebrating around here and worshipping. But other gods were also worshipped here. So I'm just going to stop at Hera's temple. So Hera was Zeus's wife, but she could often get quite jealous. So we'll just have a look and check in here so this is the temple of Hera and we can see some wonderful sculpture here and somebody worshipping and that statue there is or sculpture there is of Hera so she was Zeus's wife and one of the most famous Greek gods in ancient Greece so worshipped very importantly so we're going to have a look inside Zeus's temple as he was king of the gods there were also other famous gods that you may have heard of, so Poseidon, you may have heard of him, you may have heard of Hermes, so now you've got delivery by Hermes, but actually gets his name because he was a messenger from there, Artemis, and we'll be learning about some of the other gods in our lesson today, but I wanted to show you the Temple of Zeus because it's quite magnificent. The Olympic Games were dedicated to Zeus, and all the ceremonies and events were hosted in his honor. It is no surprise that the largest temple in the sanctuary was the Temple of Zeus. While most temples were restricted to priests, the Temple of Zeus welcomed all who visited Olympia. This openness was most likely meant to show off the gold and ivory statue of Zeus that stood within the temple's walls. The building also featured art depicting both versions of the Olympic Festival's founding myth. The eastern pediment showed a scene from the legendary race between Pelops and Oinomaos. The temple's metopes, meanwhile, showed the 12 labors of Heracles, the other mythical founder of the games. Heracles, you may know more familiar as Hercules, but interesting that the temple was available to visit by everyone who visited Olympia, so only certain people would have been allowed to worship in certain temples. But the Temple of Zeus, everyone who visited Olympia could worship here. And interesting how the Olympic Games were all dedicated to him, so you can see he was clearly a very popular figure. And you can see over there some of the seating where some of the events may have happened in front of and also decorated with amazing sculptures around his temple. So let's just have a look inside and find out a little bit more about Zeus and the temple in which, and you can see plenty of people in here worshiping Zeus. Zeus was the god of sky and thunder and king of the Olympians. He ruled the world from his home on Mount Olympus. The child of Cronus the Titan, Zeus overthrew his father 
and cast the Titans out in a great battle known as the Titanomachy. He had children of his own with his wife Hera, including Ares, Hephaestus, Hebe, and Ilithia. He also had many children without Hera, much to her consternation. But there are too many to list here. Zeus was believed to have control over the lives of mortals, as his many epithets attest to. For example, his title Horkios made him a keeper of oaths, while Xenios was the name conferred to him as a protector of hospitality. In Greek art, Zeus was usually depicted holding a thunderbolt and sitting on a throne, befitting his position as king. So you can see a very powerful god in ancient Greece as they believed he was the connection with mortal people. So had people like ourselves, living people. And you can see that very heavily worshipped here even on the game. So this will give us a little bit more information about the statue. The Temple of Zeus was home to the Chryselephantine statue of Zeus one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The statue, made of gold, ivory and wood, was sculpted by the renowned artist Phidias. At 13 meters tall, it was as impressive looking as it was difficult to maintain. Oil was used to protect the wood and ivory from cracking and to prevent general decay. While the statue does not exist today, it was thankfully described by Pausanias in great detail so its legacy lives on. So, incredible. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world. So, the Colosseum in Rome now is one of the seven wonders of the world. This was one of the seven ancient wonders of the world that are no longer here. So, an amazing uh, statue to celebrate their gods. So, that's just a quick little introduction about the gods. I hope that's given you some information and I look forward to teaching you a little bit more as we do our lesson. Take care. Bye bye.